Okay, here in this video, we are going uh, to discuss about another type of projectile motion when the projectile is given an angular projection. Okay, so as seen in this figure, let us say that you are projecting a, a projectile or any body from this point O with a velocity U. Okay, now let us say that this velocity U it makes an angle theta with respect to the horizontal. Fine. Now this velocity u, because it is in the x, y plane, so therefore it can be resolved into two rectangular components. The horizontal component of velocity u is u cos theta and the vertical component of the velocity u is u sine theta. Okay. Now this u cos theta, which is the horizontal component, it is always remaining the same throughout the motion of the projectile. That means, if at this point the horizontal component is u cos theta, at this point when you find the horizontal component is u cos theta, at this point, though it is uh, shown vx here, but this is equals to u cos theta. So at any point along the part of projectile, the horizontal component is always u cos theta. Okay. Now, this vertical component of velocity, u sin theta, this u sin theta, you know, it is changing with time under the effects of gravity. Because, you know, when a body is moving like this, when a body is moving like this, then that body it is always under the effects of gravity which means the body will try to fall down so as it tries to fall down it means the body is under the actions of uh, uh, gravity of the earth fine so because of that we say this vertical component velocity it is changing with time according to the because of the effect i can say because of the effect of uh, gravity of the earth okay now because of the combined effect of these two components of velocity, we, we conclude that the part of the projectile is along O, A, B. So this is the part of the projectile. And now we will show that this part of the projectile is a parabolic part. Okay. So that means we will show about what is the trajectory of the projectile. Okay. Now. Suppose at any instance of time, let's say at a time t, small t, the projectile is at a point p, fine? And at this point p, let's say that the horizontal distance is x and the vertical distance is y. So therefore, using the equations of motion, s is equals to ut plus half a t squared then we can say along horizontal we can say x or I can say horizontal distance x is equal to, instead of s you write x instead of u you write ux and then t plus half instead of a you write ax and then t squared okay now, what is x? Now, this x is equals to ux. What is ux? ux is the horizontal component of velocity of the projectile. And as I have already mentioned that this horizontal component of velocity, it is always equals to u cos theta. Okay, so therefore, instead of ux, I will write u cos theta and then times small t plus. Again, what is ax? You know, like before, Ax is equals to 0 because there is no acceleration along the horizontal directions of the projectile. So when Ax is 0, so this term will disappear. So we get only this much. So this is the horizontal distance. Next, from this uh, equation, let us find out T. T is equals to x upon u cos theta. Fine. Now this is the equation for the time at a point. Okay, after this, what is the vertical distance at a point P? Vertical distance. Okay. 
For vertical distance, how much is vertical distance at this point? It is y. So s is y. How much is u? U is ui. How much is t? Okay, t is t. Okay, fine. And then half. How much is a? A is ay. And then t square. Okay. Next, I can say y is equals to what is ui? Ui is the uh, the vertical components of velocity u. So the vertical component of velocity u we have seen it is equals to u sine theta. So instead of u, I'll write u sine theta and then small t plus half a y. What is a y? A y it is actually the acceleration at this point. Okay, when the body it is accelerated upward. When the body is going up, it means the acceleration of uh, you know gravity it is opposite to the accelerations in which the body is being accelerated. So therefore, instead of a y, I'll write equals to minus g. Okay, please note down this point. Why a y is minus g? Because as the body is moving up, the body is going up, then it is opposite to the acceleration due to gravity. Because acceleration due to gravity it is always acting down. So because of that, instead of a y, I'll write minus g and then t squared in this way. Okay. Now. Substituting the value of t which you have obtained here, you'll get u sine theta. Instead of t, you write x upon u cos theta. And then plus into minus will be minus half g and then t is okay, x. Because of this t square, you can write x square upon u square cos square theta. Or y is equals to this u with this u cancel. So sine upon cos means tan x, or I can say tan theta, and then x, and then minus half, okay, I'll write in this way, uh, half g upon u square cos square theta, I plug together, and then I write x square outside the bracket. Okay, is it clear? Now, I can further say that this y is equals to, I'll be write this tan theta as p and then px and for this I'll write with q, so qx square. So again looking at this equation, we found that this is a quadratic equation of the variable x because the, because the degree is 2. So therefore, y in this case, it is a quadratic function of the variable x. As it is a quadratic function, then the trajectory or the path along which the projectile is moving in this case is a parabolic path. Okay. So please remember, in exams, if the questions ask you, show that the path of the projectile is a parabolic path, then you have to do, right, you obtain till this equation. And that is, and that is, when the projectile is given an angular projection but when the projectile is given a horizontal projection how you will show the path is parabolic then that you can look into my previous video fine